AI art is evolving rapidly. I tried a mid journey a few months ago and thought it was pretty cool. I didn't really come up with very interesting results. The art was kind of implied. It wasn't very detailed, but now the detail is just crazy. It's very specific. It's very hard in some cases to distinguish from human created art and AI. And I'm starting to see things from AI that I never would have seen from a human. It's almost like it's going to the depths of imagination and creating something new. Is that good? Is that scary? Is my job as a motion artist on the line? I don't know if I have the right answer for you, but let's speculate. Nick Koo, a motion graphic artist friend of mine, said this about AI art. He's from Australia. Mate, if you can see the task you're doing as steps and can be explained to another human, AI will figure out how you did and replicate it faster. Okay, I'll stop with the accent. My prediction is that while AI will make a lot of jobs obsolete, it's mostly used to eliminate tedious jobs. Likewise, with video editing, it's eliminating tasks like rotoscoping, tracking, and some VFX that were very tedious to do and allowing us to focus on just being creative. So right there's a job I used to do, VFX work. I would rotoscope and I would paint out stuff and touch up but now after effects is starting to incorporate smarter technology that can do these things faster and more automated or there's software that you can use just straight up in chrome that will rotoscope something in the click of a button it doesn't even require your hardware to do it i've been getting a lot less vfx work and more motion graphic stuff lately and i'm not sure you can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. But still, you need someone who can put all this together, who understands this software as well. But just going back 15 years ago, what I do now, people would be paying millions of dollars to do. But since the hardware and software is so much cheaper and faster, I'm not doing it for like a tenth of that. So how much longer until I'm eliminated and someone can just do it at the click of a button? But that's why we have to stay on top of things and watch tutorials and learn every day and get the latest version of every software to stay on top of things. If you check out my videos on the Olufemi channel, you can spice up your skills yourself. But let's get back to AI. What's really blowing my mind right now is this guy, Keith Schofield, who created this piece that went viral. It's had over 2 million views. David Cronenberg's Galaxy of Flesh. This stuff is wild. It's also disgusting, so if you have a weak stomach, you might want to skip ahead. It has this 80s retro feel, and it looks photographic. This is not something you could create very easily with Octane or Photoshop. It would take so long. But on top of that, the imagination, like who would have come up with this? So he's posted like four pictures here, four pictures here, and then more and more, and provided an Imgur link. It took me a while. It just goes on forever. And while the same idea is shared across every image, each one's unique enough that my breath was being taken away up until the very end of scrolling through this. Definitely check it out for yourself. Look, there's 276 more images. You can zoom in and just see the detail. There's always the signature things to look out for, like fingers. Oh, AI art makes too many fingers. But how much longer until that's not a problem? Like this stuff is wild. Are you a 2D artist and this stuff is replacing your job where you're getting less work and less inquiries, let me know in the comments below. A lot of people reply to this stuff just wishing this were a real movie, but I mean, the budget for this movie would be insane. This all looks so practical, but I don't even think we could achieve this with practical effects. There's just so much detail, and clearly this guy's used something with tubes, because that all the tubes, it's kind of a recurring theme, and I've seen some other art that I'll show soon. It appears to be something that the algorithms have perfected, is creating all these tubes. So my thoughts on this is, how much longer until we actually see this stuff in motion? And as a motion graphics artist, that's where where it will become a threat. Just the film industry in general, if you have chat GDP that can write scripts and then you have AI voice acting and then you have this imagery and then it's moving, literally all those things can join together and make a feature film. It, it can learn structure, beginning, middle and end. And I'm not gonna lie, if the film looks like this, I'm gonna watch it. It seems far-fetched, but I don't think anyone would have predicted that images like this would have been possible to make. Wow. Whoa, that is so cool. So no way here do I see that Stable Diffusion has animated a person dancing. It's a live action video of someone dancing and then Stable Diffusion is generating like a ton of mid-journey style renders over top of it. But see it's constantly like flickering which is part of just how it works. So it's not at a point yet where it would completely replace like if you wanted this to look like a squid person, you'd still have to use animation. But when will that happen? Who knows? Oh, that is just so cool. But yeah, I see a lot of those infinite zooms, which, I mean, whatever. Not impressed, sorry. Reminds me of Fantastic Planet. That's pretty cool. Oh, feels so abstract and random. Luma Labs has this feature where 
someone typed in a double cheeseburger with fries and chicken nuggets. I'm missing the chicken nuggets, but it's made a 3D model of a burger, which looks pretty good for a computer. I mean, and just completely original assets here, but does fall apart a little bit. Yeah, I feel bad for 3D animators. I do think just seeing how far Mid Journey has gone, I don't know why this wouldn't also improve and have a similar trajectory. It's a 3D model, just Spider-Man, that's all put in. I mean, no one would actually use that. It's not there, rest assured, it is not yet there. All these have baked lighting, caved in looking eye there, but it makes an image that completely wraps around. Rignet does um, character animation and rigging. That would take hours to animate. So looking at this from the perspective of someone who wants to do like a low budget um, short film and you're a jack of all trades like me, I mean, I'm not great at rigging. I'm not great at animating characters or even good. I'm not great at modeling. If these got to that place where they were perfected and I could use all these pieces to create something with a, at really low cost and with less people, unfortunately, getting paid, then it'd be pretty tempting to do so. So to get as perfect as this seems almost impossible, but I imagine it's gotta happen at some point. But then the issue will be how much can you edit that and tweak it? I'm sure that information would be a hot mess, but then you could get AI to clean that up and make it editable in something like Cinema 4D or Maya, After Effects. But maybe it's all just a magic trick. It looks impressive, but someone's just cracked a code for this particular kind of work. Is it truly artificial intelligence, like a robot that's doing this? No, it's an automated program that's using images that you input and art that people have created on the internet and kind of learning and joining all that together. I'm not pretending to understand it, but I've played enough with ChatGPT to know it's not a true artificial intelligence. But I digress, let's take a look at some more AI art. Now here's a real artist who does comic books. His name's Tim Molloy, but he's also messed around with Mid Journey and created some wild art. Now this one I find looks very similar to the David Cronenberg one that Keith Schofield worked on with, we have all these tubes. So there's something that they've cracked here. Then you also get this retro art. You'll see their heads are always kind of a little odd shape and their eyes are kind of buggy, but still. I think he's gone in here and done some edits himself, but man, no real artist could ever pump out this much work. It's crazy. And then this design stuff, like my goodness, these all look kind of like Italian B-movie posters. And then this action figure stuff, like what is going on? The lighting and everything on it just looks so real. How is it not real? Keith Schofield also just came out with this stuff, which I think is pretty wild. Peter Greenway's The Matrix, 1992. Like who would ever come up with this? I see a lot of angry comments in response to this stuff, basically trying to act like it's nothing or you can always tell, but I have other friends who I communicate about this with and they're scared. AI motion has started and while it still looks messy on one hand, you can see that the potential is there and if it only took this long to get to this point from a couple months back, then I don't know, like there's no real ceiling on this. Here's some work I've messed with myself, trying to do the concept artist idea, like messing around with mid journey first and then trying to come up with an idea. And I've learned that as easy as it is just to type in some prompts, it's still an art in itself to master it and narrow things down. Which makes me wonder how much of this that Keith and Tim Molloy have created was by accident or really a direction they're going for. And I think mostly it's by accident. They stumbled across something and the computer's just kind of making it up itself. At least that's been my experience while the result is not what I pictured in my head. For example, here's a Terminator cyborg walking through a blazing fire. It's a pretty epic design in itself. I mean, I could post that on Instagram. Would anyone know that it's AI or not? I could definitely trick a lot of people. And I find that sad because there are designers and people who are getting into creating the NFTs who are posting like every week, every few days, and now they've just kind of stopped. People in the comments acting, what prompt did you use? Or maybe these artists just feel defeated because some of the AI imagery is more interesting to look at than something that they've spent dozens of hours working on. And I'm not here to say like, we should stop using AI. That makes no sense. Like this is the future and there's more to it. It's referencing art that's already been made to create what it's now making even though it's hard to trace back what it is actually sourcing. But the truth is that many artists do the same thing with their own work. All our art is inspired by other art. We're just standing on the shoulders of giants. But going back to what Nick said, I really do think, at least right now, the potential is there to feed something like Mid Journey, the ideas you have, and just seeing how it can help you create your own art. It's not much different than what I do now, replacing jobs in the past because hardware and software is so much cheaper and faster and more accessible. This is just another leap and it's gonna be scary, but ultimately we're still gonna need someone to plug in prompts. Like look at the detail of this guy. My prompts for this were Avatar in the style of the Incal by Mobius. Mixed results, <laughs> I don't know what's up with that face. 
Star Wars in the style of Titan AE by Don Bluth. This spaceship I created has some wonkiness at it when you analyze it really closely. All I did was put Space Jet in the prompt. This piece I made dinosaur people in 80s dark fantasy film. This is what made me realize how easy it is and to be honest, I just don't see any flaws. Like maybe there's some blue here, but this hat looks perfect. The lighting on everything truly is wild. Now, if you actually look at this Ninja Turtles thing I did, it looks really similar to this post I saw on this TMNT Plus thing, which interestingly enough, TMNT Plus thought it was original, like hand-drawn art, and then they edited it saying, oh, we didn't realize these were AI generated. I felt like someone was a bit odd. How do you feel about AI art? They kind of changed the subject, but they got tricked. They got duped. But I thought it was interesting that the lighting looked so similar to this stuff that I had made and actually created this on January 10th. And let's see, I, I just did some up presses so we can compare this one. Like, looks, the lighting is just so similar similar texture. I'll notice on this guy's page, this skull piece. I mean, a skull is a skull, but it just reminded me so much of the skulls that I had made. I feel like you could argue that they were done by like the same artist. Like it just looks like it had, there's just something, there's maybe the light, the colors that it shows are similar. I mean, the credit goes to Mid Journey. That's the commonality so maybe it is all just a magic trick maybe there is a ceiling to this after all yeah right so is it going to replace our jobs well if you're like me you're already doing new things compared to what you were 10 years ago and i'm sure prices have changed values have changed so to work in this industry you have to keep at the times and i encourage you to get into ai art try it out let it inspire you stick with it because if you don't then you will fall behind at least that's what i think i could be wrong i'm just an idiot talking to a camera anyways thanks for watching talk to you guys later